Gadsden County Commissioners will consider extending the Family First Coronavirus Response Act in their meeting happening right now. The act covers paid leave for employees absent due to COVID-19. ABC 27's Cara Bailey spoke with a county employee who simply is asking commissioners to do the right thing. For the more than 200 people who work for Gaston County, extending the Family First Coronavirus Response Act could have a significant impact on their livelihood. Gaston County Staff Assistant Katina Washington had to take time off in March to tend to her family due to COVID-19. Right now, I am very appreciative to the county for allowing us to have that act that um, they approve to let us stay home and not worry about losing our job. Her time off was paid for according to the Family First Coronavirus Response Act. It was first approved by the federal government through December of 2020. Gaston County Commissioners unanimously approved an optional extension of the act's benefits to last through March 31st. Now they're tasked with extending it a second time through September 30th. Human Resource Manager Lanielle Butler says some additional provisions will even help with absences due to vaccinations. With this extension, it also adopted three additional provisions that would allow employees to be approved for such coverage, such as if they are going to uh, get immunization for COVID, if they are experiencing any symptoms that are related to an immunization, even though it could make for a heavier workload for those who are not out on paid leave, Washington says it's a reasonable price to pay for employee safety. I know it harms the business in some sort of way, but you want the people healthy because you, you can't get a good result or work ethics if the person don't feel good safety that will extend into the entire community. Because the majority of our employees are citizens and residents of Gaston County, then it also allows our working environment to remain safe as well to the employees and to the community. Gaston County Commissioners will vote on the measure this evening at 6 p.m. In Quincy, Cara Bailey, ABC 27.